Alrighty, so we have Ashley Yoda versus Jin Yu Fry. Uh, so yeah, okay. So Yoda has four inches in height and four and a half inches in reach over uh, Fry. Uh, but yeah, let's see if she can use it. Break down the striking of these two. So she, oh sorry, Ashley, she is um, she's a southpaw. Well, both southpaws actually. Uh, but I think Fry is the better striker. You know, Ashley doesn't really have too much on the feet. She takes the back foot very easily, very easily pushed, uh, pushed back and pushed around in fights. Uh, for Fry, she's got a nice. She actually has a nice counter too. Nice overhand right. Nice inside low calf kick. Might turn into an outside low calf kick, since she's facing a southpaw here. So Yoda, she likes that hit and arm throw, and then generally that will fail and she'll be put on her back or you know just just. Uh, falls on her back in a scramble or something and then she'll go for an arm bar or triangle off her back you know quite comfortable off her back uh but yeah when she goes for like takedowns like traditional takedowns like a double leg or a single leg she doesn't set them up she just kind of reaches in and uh tries to push the opponent to the fence how these guys win fights so for Jin Frey she actually has pretty good takedown defense from what I've seen and how these guys lose fights so uh for Jin Yu Frey uh Frey sorry uh, it's the poor fight IQ. Like, not wrestling in the second round in her last fight. I forgot what it was. Gloria to Paula, maybe. Uh, when she had a huge advantage there. And just kind of getting outstruck as a result and losing the second round was a major red flag for me. Uh, but yeah, for Ashley Yoda, it's the strike and defense. And pass to victory for these two. So, for Yoda, look for volume on kicks at distance. Uh, but basically look to get her onto the mat and, you know, work your ground game. For Fry, uh, take the uh, take the front foot, you know, try and push her back. Uh, look for the outside low calf kick. Look to keep it on the feet. Uh, no takedowns. That kind of just opens up her bottom game and opens up her scrambling game. So, you know, don't. Yeah, it's just the path of least resistance is to keep it on the feet. And just if you clinch up, watch out for the head and arm throw because she's always looking for it. How I see the fight going. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't um I didn't look too deeply into this one. Um, really, really low level uh fight where you know often these outcomes of these fights you know they're quite unpredictable often you'll see terrible cases of bad fight iq fighters not showing up on the day just kind of looking a shell of themselves you know it, it makes predicting these kind of fights very difficult and also a waste of time in some aspects you know but i'll keep it brief i think uh fry wins on the feet she's sharper and her takedown defense seems good enough to keep yoda you know off her for the most part but if Yoda gets her down I don't know if she's going to be able to get up uh her technical get ups didn't seem that great on tape uh but also you know I can't really trust her fight IQ just she'll probably engage in the scrambles with uh, Yoda which is probably not advisable if you know you're looking to get the win in any means possible but yeah I can't really trust either of these guys uh so I probably wouldn't bet this fight but yeah I think Fry Fry yeah does win uh but yeah let's have a look at the betting lines Alrighty, so if you guys could like the video, thanks for that, cheers. Alright, so prediction is Frey uh, by decision. I think she should be a slight favourite. I think the line should be basically flipped, pretty much. Not sure why Yoda's that much of a favourite. Definitely wouldn't bet her uh, as a favourite. She's someone you bet as a dog, a very wide dog. It's uh, so not someone you trust as a favourite. Uh, Frey, I was looking to bet her anything over $2.20 plus 2 plus 120 sorry uh but yeah you know at this price you know if you want to get some if you're desperate for action i'd better at plus 110 but yeah i think uh i think the value was on her at two dollars 20 plus 120 but if you're desperate for action i, I think Frey's still got a bit of value on her um but it's lower levels women in MMA, women's mma and i was only like, really comfortable playing plus 120 on her but i think she should be the favorite here